All right, everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while, yes, and uh, here we are with another installment of uh, just looking at two watches that are kind of similar side by side. Two homage uh, watches of iconic watches that are um, pretty hard to get. One a little bit easier to get, one almost impossible to get. So the, the closest that I'm ever gonna get to the real versions of these are right here in front of us today. Uh, first, we got the, uh, the Daytona um, homage. So by Pagani Design, and you know what? It's I've had this uh, now for a little while, and uh, I wear it occasionally. It's fun to wear. It's got a really good movement. Uh, it is waterproof to uh, at least 50 meters. I haven't taken it anything deeper than that. Uh, it's got the kind of tucked away 430, 425 date, um, you know, white match date wheel. So that's kind of cool. You don't really see it until you pay attention to it, but that's there. Uh, screw down crowns, screw down pushers. I'm gonna screw these, unscrew them. And we can take a look at the uh, V64 movement from Seiko. And then we got the all new version three homage of a Speedmaster, also by Pagani Design. And uh, again, really enjoyable to wear. I just recently got this, so this is kind of a new video. And as you can see, I just sized the bracelet, so we're gonna go ahead and peel that off. And again, just a really cool watch. A really nice bracelet, they did a really good job, where the links are rounded, front and back. A lot of people said they're kind of sharp, but I don't find that they're sharp. I've held a real version of these and uh, it actually is pretty sharp here. You, it almost feels like you can shave with the uh, the side case profile. This one here is not too bad. Uh, the end of the uh, links are not bad at all. And what I really like about this bracelet is just the way that it articulates. So you guys gotta remember I paid about uh, just under a hundred bucks Canadian for this. So really, really good price for what it's worth, for what you're getting. I mean, just that domed crystal, that domed crystal easily, easily. They're probably around a hundred bucks, maybe 50 to a hundred bucks just for the crystal. Now, mind you, there's no AR, the still good visibility, but it is very reflective as you can see. But uh, because they changed the V3 to the white hands, I think it's uh, legibility wise, they did a really good job. And uh, yeah, it's really good. The bracelet, the end links fit well. No wobble here, solid end links, solid links. And I actually don't mind that they're not screw pins, they're actually push pins. But that worked well for me in the end anyway. The weirdest thing on this is this really cheap divers extension or sweaty uh, hot day extension i don't know why it's on here no one's gonna use it blah 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 whatever but it kind of makes the bracelet probably a little bit no more noisy than normal but uh it's fine i'm not gonna complain too much about it again this bracelet here is, is really well made all individual links really really cool okay so that's the uh pagan design speedmaster let's see the case back here Okay, so it's kind of got like a little childish kind of cartoon thing going on here. I'm just thankful they didn't put Snoopy on there. I probably wouldn't have bought it. But kind of cool. It's got a spaceship with Saturn and the moon and stuff like that. So it's not bad. It's pretty cool. I don't mind it. And then here's the fake Tona. Some people call it. Again, those registers, they're really, really nice. Almost like concentric circles, uh, almost like a vinyl disc record. Those lines on the subdial registers. These ones here also, if you look kind of closely, you can see the really uh, sunken in detail. They did a really good job overall. I'm happy with them. Again, they're cheap, they're fun. This is how I'm having fun in the hobby. You know, it's not so serious. You can buy homage watches and still, you know, have a pretty good collection as well. Um, this is the new bracelet from Pagani on these watches. The other, the 
homage to the uh, sub that I had had a really it was it was the same bracelet but uh, I felt like it was a little bit better it was a little bit more solid this one here is kind of tinny and it just sounds a little bit more jiggly but what I do like that they did was they added this spring mechanism here so when you're opening it okay just like the real thing not as good but you can see how it just engages there and it's really nice action actually so a little bit noisy this also has the sweaty day extension and i think this is a little bit of a better version obviously than that cheap kind of wetsuit extension that they gave you on that one and this just clips back in so it's really nice there let's go ahead and uh, check the movement on these one two three and again, that Seiko V64 Mecha Quartz movement, really, really nice. It's got a, a four tick per second sweep on it. And uh, yeah, these are obviously accurate because they're quartz. Uh, and what I do like about both, uh, the second hand down there, they hit the mark every single time. It's actually so satisfying to see. Like bang on i don't have a quartz watch in my collection that does that there's even some high-end quartz models that don't really do that on the regular so overall happy with how this one in this particular model or example that i got is actually pretty good um wrist check today i got the zelos gen one swordfish in stainless steel on a really nice uh, tropic fkm rubber strap and this is the, called the black sand. So let's go ahead and see how these look on wrist. So just for reference, six and three quarter inch wrist. So this is like a 42, the bezel is 40. Because of the uh, curved lugs, it, it gives you a little bit of a uh, different kind of size or feeling, but overall the lug to lug is you know, manageable it's not too too high even though it has that domed crystal uh the finishing is good the really really you know difference in the the transition of the brush and polish polish features are done to a uh, pretty high standard for a watch like this again so screw down crown on this but obviously with the design no screw down pushers okay and then there's the This is a Chu 4020, again, <clears throat> my six and three quarter inch wrist. The lug to lug of about 48 is just perfect. So again, really, really nice watches, really fun to wear. Um, they don't, uh, you know, you can go out and not have to worry that you have a 10, 15, $20,000 watch on your wrist. Um, if they get scratched, they get scratched. It is what it is. I don't baby my watches. I wear them to work. Uh, if they get scratched, they get scratched. It is what it is. So we got three micro adjusts on this. I like the new clasp that they're using. Really, really cool. As opposed to the uh, Rolex style. This is nice and slim too. Uh, I, I like this clasp. They did a good job. Sorry, guys. This is really a smudge magnet of a watch. But yeah, let's go ahead and stop that movement. And see the Mecha Quartz snap back into place. Okay, ready. One, two, three. Really, really cool. <clears throat> the loom is pretty good. On this, they've really improved the loom uh, on this watch. I was actually surprised on how it glowed. Uh, it didn't, doesn't obviously last that long, but definite improvement on the previous models. So yeah, just an overall fun watch. I got a few more coming in as well. Um, <clears throat> so stay tuned to look out for those. And uh, until the next one, we'll, we'll see you guys in the next video. Again, thanks for watching. To all my subscribers, I really appreciate it. 
Um, hope you guys have a, a wonderful summer and uh, take care.